Sunan Abi Dawud Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam. Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam narrated Aisha, Amul Muminin. The Messenger of Allah forbade to enter the hot baths. He then permitted men to enter them in lower garments. Sunan Abi Dawud 4009 Reference 33 Hadith 1. Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam narrated Aisha, Amul Muminin. Abul Mala said, Some women of Syria came to Aisha. She asked them, From whom are you? They replied, From the people of Syria. She said, Perhaps you belong to the place where women enter hot baths for washing. The said, Yes, she said. I heard the Messenger of Allah say, If a woman puts off her clothes in a place other than her house, she tears the veil between her and Allah, the Exalted. Abu Dawud said, This is the tradition narrated by Jarir, and it is more perfect. Jarir did not mention Abu al Mala. He said, on the authority of Aisha, that the Messenger of Allah said. Sunan Abi Dawud 4010 Reference 33 Hadith 2 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam narrated Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al -Az. The Prophet said, After some time the lands of the non-Arabs will be conquered for you, and there you will find houses called Hammamat, Hot Baths. So men should not enter them, to wash, except in lower garments, and forbid the women to enter them except a sick or one who is in a child bed. Sunan Abi Dawud 4011 Reference 33 Hadith 3 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam narrated Yala. The Messenger of Allah saw a man washing in a public place without a lower garment. So he mounted the pulpit, praised and extolled Allah and said, Allah is characterized by modesty and concealment. So when any of you washes, he should conceal himself. Sunan Abi Dawud 4012 Reference 33 Hadith 4 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam. The tradition mentioned above has also been transmitted by Yala from the Prophet through a different chain of narrators. Abu Dawud said, The former is more perfect. Sunan Abi Dawud 4013 Reference 33 Hadith 5 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam narrated Jarhad. The Messenger of Allah sat with us and my thigh was uncovered. He said, Do you not know that thigh is a private part? Sunan Abi Dawud 4014 Reference 33 Hadith 6 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam narrated Ali ibn Abu Talib. The Prophet said, Do not uncover you thigh, and do not look at the thigh of the living and the dead. Abu Dawud said, This tradition disagrees with the generally reported traditions, Nakara. Sunan Abi Dawud 4015 Reference 33 Hadith 7 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam narrated al Miswar b. Makrama. I lifted a heavy stone. While I was walking my garment fell down. The Messenger of Allah said to me, Take you garment upon you, and do not walk naked. Sunan Abi Dawud 4016 Reference 33 Hadith 8 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al Hammam Baz B. Hakim said that his father told on the authority of his grandfather. I said, Messenger of Allah, from whom should we conceal our private parts and to whom can we show? He replied, Conceal your private parts except from your wife and from whom your right hands possess, slave girls. I then asked, Messenger of Allah, what should we do, if the people are assembled together? He replied, If it is within your power that no one looks at it, then no one should look at it. I then asked, Messenger of Allah if one of us is alone, what should he do? He replied, 
Allah is more entitled than people that bashfulness should be shown to him. Sunan Abi Dawud 4017 Reference 33 Hadith 9 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al-Hammam narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qudri. The Prophet said, A man should not look at the private parts of another man, and a woman should not look at the private parts of another woman. A man should not lie with another man without wearing lower garment under one cover, and a woman should not be lie with another woman without wearing lower garment under one cover. Sunan Abi Dawud 4018 Reference 33 Hadith 10 Sunan Abi Dawud, Hot Baths, Kitab al-Hammam narrated Abu Hurairah. The Prophet said, A man should not lie with another man and a woman should not lie with another woman without covering their private parts except a child or a father. He also mentioned a third thing which I forgot. Sunan Abi Dawud 4019 Reference 33 Hadith 11